Hi there, this is the Cajun Prepper, one of my first videos. We Today we're going to be showing you how to seal number 10 cans with product in a, or using a master sealer. Excuse the video. Um, this is a hand operated unit that we actually adapted to use with a 110 motor and a foot switch. A little bit more on the can sealer. It was bought uh, online. Uh, you can get them for oh, around seven, eight hundred dollars. Just do a, a Google uh, search of some sort or a search for a master uh, sealer. I think they're made by the automatic canning devices uh, in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Really nice unit. Uh, let me get back here a little bit in the shop so you can see. It is, like I said, it's a hand hand operated unit, but we did adapt a 110 motor. It's a two speed motor. We have it running on the s slowest speed with a with a one inch uh, five groove pulley. We also adapted a uh, five groove belt to go on this, and that these two combination right here it turns the crank about 100 to 120 RPM. Uh, the best I can tell with the uh, pulley calculator. I've got a, a lister and a and we did pulley calculations. Anyways, so this seems to work really well. Uh, I bought the unit, I said uh, online, and set it. I took it apart, cleaned it really good, oiled it up, and painted it uh, camouflage color. So I had camouflage paint. Besides, it's a really good paint. It keeps anything from happening to the unit. As you can see, you can can all kinds of stuff. You can can all dry stuff. Peas, rice, uh, and today I'm doing masica. I think that's how you say it. It's uh, basically tortilla and tamale uh, flour. It's already ground, ready to go. Uh, I filled the cans already with three bags. Uh, uh, one bag fills it to the top just about uh, right. I think you have a little bit left over out of the bag. So what we've got here is two 300 cc oxygen absorbers the uh, masica a lid and the lids and cans are purchased from lds those guys are really super people uh look for a lds location uh in your city they have them set you know uh you know in, in different cities again that's the you can buy the cans and the boxes the cans that's what they look like you know this the empty cans be careful because this edge right here is razor sharp. It will cut you when you least expect it to. Okay, let's set the camera up so we can actually can some masica. Okay, I'll set it up like this. And it's about 21 revolutions on the, if you have to do it by hand, it's about 21 times. Half of it, this first arm seals rolls the edge this one right here seals it presses it shut this can right here is ready to go as you can see it's got product in it two oxygen jarbers i use two they only call for one but i use two ten cents is actually cheap insurance you put it on the machine like this make sure the lid fits on the lid right here and press it and watch it go Okay, I'll stop it like this, the lever down, and just tap this with the palm of your hand, and it comes off, and it is, as you can see, it is sealed. Normally, LDS will give you labels. These right here, I use for the rice and some for the beans, uh, corn, spaghetti, potato flakes, etc., etc. But on something like this, what I'll normally do is cut, the, cut this off the front of the package, set it down on the can, and you can pick these up just about anywhere. They are package sealers. Just put the tape really quick across the top like this and you have it sealed and a label on it. Take you a Sharpie. I kind of like the ones that you can't lose the cap. You just have to remember to re-click it. In right 12, 11 on top of the can. And if you want to, I did cut off some of the instructions 
but it won't fit like this so you put them this ways make sure the labels on the other side kind of lay it down and you can also do this I took basically this right here is one of these I took the handle off inverted it and put a couple of screws it works great instead of trying to have handle that right there and you can go down with it just in one fell swoop okay another piece and we are done we have this sealed up for 20 years 30 years you've got your product how to use it and the date on it simple as that and again you can get these machines online uh, watch eBay although this time of the year uh, or what, what everybody's prepping it's easier just to go out and buy this thing they're about 800 bucks brand new and I've seen them sell as high as six hundred dollars on ebay then you've got to fight with the ship and etc etc do a google search buy one brand new that way you're not buying anybody's worn out arms roll worn out rollers because these rollers are about 60 bucks a piece this one right here has probably done oh five thousand pounds of rice uh, uh i don't know a couple of thousand pounds of beans it's probably done about five thousand cans already um the first uh probably 50 cases or 25 cases I've done by hand and that is uh, a little bit too much so I went in found an old motor a friend of mine had an old motor and we put this together and it's real simple and it works like a charm the key is the foot switch you can buy those at Harbor Freight I don't <laughs> I'm an aircraft mechanic so I don't have any vested interest in all these but you can get them at Harbor Freight you can get the motor it's a Dayton motor uh, in case you're all interested, it's a Dayton motor model number 5K423. It's a half horsepower, and we're spinning this. It's a dual, they call a split phase AC motor. Um, you can run it at 1725, but I, I would I would run it at, we have it running at 1140 because it turns this about 100 to 120 RPM. Any faster than that, you'll start uh, overstressing a lot of the components, wearing the bushing out, etc., etc. 1140 on the motor is perfect uh, if you want to you can also put my email up you can email me and I can give you the place where I bought the uh, like I said the motor was given to me that's a Dayton motor you can get those at any any one of the um, like Har not Harbor Freight but I think Harbor Freight does sell them but uh, I think we got this at um, MSC I believe uh, some of the big name uh, industrial people have them and the belt and the pulley, I can give you the name of the place that's right here uh, locally. And I can send you that information. I don't know if they mail order and if they do not. And if you're really interested in it, I'll help you out. I'll buy one and, and ship it to you, whatever. So that's, that's not a problem. But they, basically, that's how you do it. Six of them fit to a case. And you can can just about anything. Uh, it has to be dry. Rice, red beans, potato flakes, powdered milk, oats, flour, sugar and pinto beans um, any kind of bean we buy locally at uh, Walmart so everybody shops uh, the community brand beans we like those we're in the south here I'm in the south Louisiana they are excellent beans you can buy these anywhere so, um, I would suggest going down to a local food distributor and picking those up in the 20 pound boxes you can save a lot of money and it's actually really good stuff so if you have any questions on, on what I just did, the canning there, such as give me a holler. I'd be more than glad to take and answer all your questions. And I am using the uh, uh, 300 cc oxygen absorbers. And this one right here just escaped my bag. I thought I had them all repackaged in the, in the jars, but this one escaped. And I've got a couple of them up here I'm trying and they should get hot and start absorbing oxygen. Any more questions, give me a holler. Thanks.